I read an article on Fast Company that stated 61% of people in the workforce cover up aspects of who they are in front of their coworkers and managers. Mm -hmm. Christy Smith, a managing principal at DeLoit University, and Kinji Yoshino, an NYU law professor, surveyed 3,100 employees and found that most people don't feel comfortable being their authentic selves mm. at work. Mm. Interesting, right? Jeannie. Yes. Do you ever feel the need to hide your authentic self in any aspect of your life? Guys, <laughs> you know, if anybody, I've the, I have the least ability to be somewhat, you know, a little bit more professional in yeah. certain situations. I like to just have fun. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Okay. I'd be like, Jeannie, you can't <laughs> say that. <laughs> Even at the White House, that. Adrian's like, Jeannie, don't, Please. don't, don't. But I feel very grateful that I'm at a job where I don't yeah. have to be, I'm giving you my real me. This yeah. is yes. me. It's a little weird, a little crazy. We don't have that you problem know? here. Yeah. My we favorite do. moment, though, was, you know, so Freddie's family's Caucasian, and I, sometimes there's a little cultural difference, mm -hmm. but I realized uh, we really got to our comfortable selves when last Thanksgiving I was able to be myself because every Thanksgiving usually the, the white family, they <laughs> cut the meat of the chicken, the turkey, <laughs> and they lay it out beautifully at the table, and every year I sit there and I look at the dark meat and the bones where I really want to suck them over by the sink, <laughs> and they don't take it over there. So last year I was like, you know what, after Grace, I stood up, I went over there, I got the bones, I put the whole carcass on my plate, you guys. I got a bottle of sriracha. No shame. And I went in. And his mom, she was like, oh, well, honey, you should have told me. We'll put those bones out for here for Aww. you next year. Oh, see? That's and I was like, that's when, that's when you know it's family, that's when awesome. you can be yourself. You sucked yeah. on turkey neck. Yep. At, at Thanksgiving yep. dinner. Yep. Yes. I picked the bones <laughs> off your plate, Tamar. I love bones. Oh my Me God. too. Do you mm -hmm. eat the bones? I do. I know. And, and the girl, meat inside? The grizzle. Yes. <sighs> I love it. I'm but we're you. talking about at work. I don't know if we always want people to be their self at work. I mean, on, you know, what? some people need to, you know, when you are in the public, maybe you do need to respect people a little bit more. If you yeah. know you don't like taking a shower, take a shower if you're going to go outside. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know? I don't want you sticking me up in the office. Because I had it, you know, when I worked as an engineer, it was mm -hmm. the guy, oh. he was authentic like that. You know, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Authentically funky. Yes, we had a conversation, you know. That's what I mean. It's like, yeah. when, you, when you talk about, I understand about being yeah. real. Because yeah. they like, mm -hmm. be yourself on TV. And, yeah. Yeah. You don't want me to be myself on TV, okay? You, know you are yourself. There's a time no, and a place I, for everything. Hey, that's what I'm talking You know what I'm, you know yes. what I'm talking about. I, I'm myself. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, okay. oh, no. I it's certain language that. that I use that is not oh, appropriate. Oh, that's oh, what I, see I was what you're gonna saying. say. Like, have you ever been somewhere and you express yourself the wrong way? Like, like oh, I hate saying this. I've been... At church before, oh, I want to hear this. And don't tell me this has never happened to you, Tay. Because sometimes what? these words slip out. I was like sitting next to. Her, I'm like, oh my god, that spoke to my spirit. What? Like I didn't say <laughs> it loud. Church? No, I didn't say it loud. I just whispered. I was like, oh my god, that that is so true. Yes, look, like <laughs> you never just express yes, yourself the yes, wrong. Y'all are fronting right now. It just you never comes, felt something. You were thug in church. Yeah, man. No. No. And they'd be like, no, you can't say it. And I'm like, oh, oh, yes, of course. I have nieces of Jet, who's like a sponge. You say anything in front of her, she repeats it. So I think that's not so much not being yourself, but not being authentic. You're being you respectful. Because when I'm yeah. with your children, respectful. it's certain things I don't say around them. And thank them. God for that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm just I mean? saying. Because it's hard to scale back in front of your kids in front of, with the cuss words. Scale what about back. They're like a sponge. They pick up and everything. And they say it in, in front of the people that you're trying to impress the most. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I'd be like, no, he said duck. He, just, he likes ducks. Loves like, the ducks. Loves ducks. Mm. Quack, quack. Have you guys picked? <laughs> have you guys picked this up about me? I'm a little bit more of an introvert, really. Have you guys picked I it up? I can see that. I yeah. can yeah. see it in you, but you, I've never felt like you're not yourself around us. Oh no, no, no! I'm always, I'm always myself yes, around at work. At, at work, because we, you know, we, we have to be. But and I also can be over emotional. <laughs> I cry at everything, you guys. Aiden had his first Christmas play. And I was that, that mom, like, oh, my God, he's so cute. <laughs> so cute. That's a, right. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Moms <laughs> out there get it. They so do. Okay. Like, 
Like, even here, you'll, you'll try to be like, I am not crying today. Yes. I am not going to cry but today. But, you know, I do wear my emotions on my you sleeve. You do. Yes. I just, I, I can't, I can't be fake. Yes. But I, I do, I really, really try not to be so introverted when... When I'm here. Is there any way you all. are not authentically yourself, Ms. Tamar? I, I really Brett. can't think of I mean, I don't know. It took me a while to eat in front of y'all. What? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, well, that's not a problem now. No, it's I'll not tell a you problem now. Like, yeah. you really got to get to know me, like, for me we to really grow. Yes. With the like, pizza. I don't really want people to know. Oh, I guess I said it now. Yeah. I don't want people to know that I'm a much, as much of a foodie as I am. You are. Like, uh -huh. 100%. I eat a lot. You know what uh -huh. I mean? And people are gonna judge you like, dang, that girl can eat. They're gonna talk about you on the way home in the car. Like, you know? the way they talk about <laughs> during, during the food segment. Yeah, Last so it's season. just like, you know, I'm just she's... trying to scale that back a little bit. And you're always asking what I'm having for lunch. Because I wanna know what you eat and I, I care. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? Y'all can always be yourselves with yeah. each other. So yeah. that's, that's all right. that matters. Yeah, right. That's right. Thank that's you. Right. Yeah.